Hello everyone, welcome to this Mesh Inspector tutorial. Today, we're going to compare three different ways to convert point clouds into meshes. Each of them is designed for specific scenarios, so let's dive into what they do and when to use them. Navigate to Points tab. First, let's talk about Points to Mesh. This mode takes vertices from your point clouds and connects them to form triangles, creating a mesh. If your point cloud doesn't have normals, points to mesh will create them. We recommend using this mode when you need to create a mesh that closely follows the exact positions of your point cloud vertices. It's perfect for projects where precision is critical, and you want to maintain the integrity of the original data points. For example, if you have a detailed scan of an object and need the mesh to accurately represent every vertex, points to mesh is the tool you should choose. Let's triangulate our Nefertiti model with this feature. Simply click on the triangulate button in a control window and you will get a perfect mesh model. Next, we have Fusion. Fusion creates an approximate mesh from a point cloud. Instead of strictly following the points, this mode uses normal information to smooth and approximate the mesh. This method is ideal when you need a cleaner, more refined mesh that captures the overall shape and surface characteristics, especially if the data is noisy. For instance, if you have a point cloud from a 3D scan that's a bit noisy, Fusion will generate a smoother mesh that's better suited for further processing or analysis. We will use this feature for the scan of the owl. We scanned this object at home and then aligned several scans together in Mesh Inspector. Lastly, let's discuss Terrain to Mesh. This feature is designed for point clouds with a regular terrain structure. Terrain to Mesh is perfect for converting structured terrain data, like topographical surveys, into a mesh. It ensures that the resulting mesh retains the regularity of the terrain, which is essential for landscape modeling or civil engineering projects. For example, if you're working with elevation data from a geographical survey, Terrain to Mesh allows you to convert that data into a mesh. We will triangulate a terrain with this feature, just simply click on Terrain to Mesh and wait for a second. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or need further assistance, don't hesitate to reach out. Happy modeling with Mesh Inspector. For more tutorials, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. If you have questions, contact us at support at meshinspector.com.